Running the point. Kelly off the screen, wanting it. Pulakitis pulls it for Embang. And he front rims it. Work the Lloyd, the rebound. Well, his rush shots, they've been flummoxed by Steve Donahue's defense. And they played most of the second half without their top score. That has been a huge factor. And you have to wonder, with the quick turnaround playing at Princeton tomorrow night, if he'll even be able to go. And Embang, after an excellent pass, completes the bucket. So look out. Bulldogs, tenacious. Home team has won the last nine games in this series. Six and six in the last 12 between the two. Max Martz wheeling and dealing. Nope. And out of bounds with 20 to shoot. The dingle drive. And look at this trigger by Yale. M bang, easy for him. Yeah, runouts for Yale, a big part of the offense tonight, and they've needed all of them. 11th offensive rebound for Penn. Nine of them in the first half. Fourth foul on M bang. And really didn't need to commit one there, and certainly not in that spot of the court where Dickel wasn't going to hurt them. Spinoso eyes it and he buys it. Three players in double figures for Penn. Spinoso, one of them with 10. As it rims out in the rebound for Mahoney. All right, the last 220. Where are you going on offense if you're Yale? I'm going to Pulakitis. Embang is not a bad option either. Wouldn't be afraid of committing a charging foul. Jarvis. And he's got a nice move on Spinoso. Two point ball game with under two minutes to play in regulation. And led by as many as six. They'll have a field goal in the last 415. Dingle almost lost it. Smith calling for Spinoso. Spinoso the take. And a block by E.J. Jarvis. Outstanding defense. Embang. The three for Mahoney, but an offensive foul. My goodness. That's on Bez Embang, and that's his fifth. You just called it, Joe. You're afraid of the offensive foul on Embang. Well, he tried to avoid it by passing the ball. You could let that one go, but clear contact initiated by Embang, and now Yale's in the deep end of the pool. Even though they only trail by two, they're probably two most indispensable players. Both done. Noling on the bench with a ankle injury. Embang out of the ball game after fouling out. Terrific game for Bez Embang. 13 points, five rebounds, four assists in 37 minutes. But here's Penn with a two point lead with 83 seconds remaining. It was, that, it was that fourth valley committed in the corner that really put him behind the eight ball. Dealt with the early foul trouble with two right off the bat in the first half. Dingle, nice move around Garum, who's playing the point now for Yale. On the baseline. Timeout, yeah. Timeout. Crossover by Dingle. Heads up play on the floor here by Mahoney and 30 second timeout. An underlying factor in this ballgame. That timeout by Yale. The hidden benefit. They kept the possession arrow. Should we have a tie up here in the last minute? Good call, Joe. Garum, Pulakitis, 
screen. He, he does. That's your guy. Under 10 to shoot. Perukitis, the fadeaway, and the rebound for Dingle. Pretty good look for John Pulakitis. Looks like Yale will play it out. We've got about a nine second differential. Steve Donahue not calling timeout. And when you've got the best player in the building and he has the basketball, let him make a play. But he's missed 10 field goals. Jordan Dingle, the guy you speak of, has the ball. Yeah, great, great job of getting to the line though. And here's the runner, what a big time shot. Jordan Dingle from the elbow, and that was just superb. The palestra explodes as it has so many times over the years. And Dingle, not smooth with his shot all night long, makes his patented runner at the most pivotal moment of the game. Thought he was going to drive and initiate contact to try and get to the line. Instead, he pulls up over Kelly. Center cut, nothing but the bottom of the net. So confident, too, by the end of this weekend. In spite of heading into it, in our lead for the automatic berth in bracketology. Garum quickly in the front court. Pulakitis a three. Wow, what an answer. John Pulakitis has 17 points. None bigger than that one, and it's a one-point pen lead. The one shot that you figured Penn wouldn't give up. But Mart's late on the closeout. Nice pass. Good adjustment off the timeout, Joe, by James Jones. We were high with that number. Penn doing the uh, five guys on the baseline. So it's Mart's going to give It's going to be Mart's, yeah, instead of Smith. And a foul in the backcourt. That was designed explicitly to get Slacker to the line. Good call by Steve Donahue. And you're right. You want Slacker there. An unorthodox formation for Penn. Slacker ends up with it and then gets touched by Kelly. No doubt Steve learned that play in the Philadelphia Catholic League. Where he second foul on Kelly, and you go way back with him. To that league. Now, just ask the uh, public league and Catholic league basketball in Philadelphia. Enormous histories on both sides. Whoa! The best laid plans. Not so much. 90 percent at the line. 53 out of 59. And he hits it. It's going to go out for Lucas Lloyd. Extra big body. So you have test a shot. Garm. Get a rebound. Garm in the backcourt for Yale. Inbounding Kelly. Has Garm. He's going to have to hurry. Garm in the front court. Jarvis the heave. No good. At the buzzer. Off the mark. And Penn survives. Thought we were going to see a three. Attempted, but no go. Yale doesn't get one off in time. What a ball game. As Steve Donahue and his Quakers can celebrate. The home team has won the last.